head now down to Bridgeport, where News 8's Allie Reed is joining us by phone, I believe. Uh, and Allie, you're down that way, so what are you seeing in the state's largest city? Hey, Jeff. Well, the good news is the sun is out now, and the wind appears to have died down a little this morning. The wind was really whipping around, sending the snow into the air, so it was hard to see much in front of you. But now that has died down. The snow, uh, the sun rather, is shining. But I have to say, I've been based here in the state's biggest city for a year and a half now, and I can honestly say I have never seen it this quiet. I'm just looking around and several feet up and looking around I can't see any cars any people which is a rare a rare sight here the roads are pretty impassable the city has prioritized clearing out the main roads since yesterday their main concerns have been having the firehouses and all the hospitals clear so that's kind of where all of the resources have gone to those areas as well as the main roadways so that emergency vehicles can get through that way but the minute you turn off of a main street there are you know there's about two and a half feet of snow in the roads i'm looking outside right now and the fire hydrants are buried i see several cars parked on the side of the road uh that they're buried as well the city asked people not to try to go out on the roads because a lot of the cars that became stranded last night the people abandoned last night because they got stuck in the snow have made it very hard for the snow plows to come and plow these side roads so they're saying to just stay off of the roads but as I mentioned I see fire hydrants several of them buried and they're asking residents if you have a fire hydrant as we heard the governor say earlier to try to dig it out so that if for some reason if there is a fire in your area you can lower the response time by having that fire hydrant readily available um, they are again trying to plow out all of the roads here focusing on the main arteries in the city and then eventually going to get to the side roads. Earlier today, I saw several trucks stuck, several people helping each other out, pushing the vehicles in the roads, uh, you know, everyone really helping each other out, and that's what the mayor here is saying to continue to do. Fortunately, they haven't seen that many power outages in the city, but a lot of people have been cold, have been stranded, and so they're asking neighbors to really look out for one another and also asking if if you don't have power, if you're one of the few out of power, uh, which, again, UI is not reporting many power outages in the city, they're saying to use flashlights instead of candles just to reduce that fire risk. Allie, uh, forgive me, if you might have said something about this, and I might not have caught it all, but, uh, but obviously Bridgeport uh, has waterfront. Uh, any, uh, any sign of any flooding issues uh, along that area? No, none at all. As I reported last night, when I went to the shoreline area in Fairfield, which along Fairfield Beach Road is very prone to flooding, there really wasn't any. They had been worried about this uh, in the kind of 48 hours leading up to the storm, but fortunately the, there was no storm surge. The tide did not come up, so there wasn't any damage there, which is really a nice break for all these communities along the waterfront here at Seaside Park in Bridgeport. We saw how much damage Superstorm Sandy caused to that area, so they were really hoping that that water wouldn't come up again and cause even more damage while they're still trying to repair that area. Unfortunately, it did not. The big issue here in the city is really the snow, and anyone trying who thinks they're going to get out and uh, make it out through the main arteries and then get onto the highway are kidding themselves because the on and off ramps have not been plowed. So you can't make it up there. So just really stay inside. Try to stay warm. Keep your neighbors safe. Check up on them, especially if you have any elderly residents or kids in your area. And the mayor here also asking if anyone in the city has any snowmobiles or ATVs. He's asking them if you could volunteer the use of those to help first responders clear out the area. That would be immensely helpful to them. And they're all, they also said that several other towns in the area who haven't been hit as hard as this big city, the mayor has asked them as well as the National Guard to lend some of their plows, uh, some of their extra uh, manpower to the city to help get these roads cleared out. But it does just from looking around here, most of the areas I see have not been plowed. So it's going to be quite a while until any of the cars can get through. But I do have a good view of 95. I do see uh, some utility trucks and some plows moving along and some trucks on 95. But again, the governor asking uh, everyone to stay off that, restricting it to non-emergency vehicles. Uh, Allie, also, um, I'm losing my train of thought here. Um, 
And I don't know if the, the, if the more welcome answer is yes or no, but are you seeing any businesses open in Bridgeport? No, I don't even think anyone could get to their doors to open their businesses today. There is nothing uh, that I can see open. But actually, Jeff, as I'm standing around, one thing that um, I want to mention, I'm seeing lots of snow, several inches. They estimate the city has had about two and a half feet of snow here. Uh, and one of the concerns is snow on top of roofs. You know, back in uh, the October snowstorm of 2010, we saw several roofs collapse, and uh, that is the main concern now, both for business owners and for residents. There are several uh, several inches of snow on top of these roofs, and, and there have been reports of some roof collapses already, so uh, they're asking, you, you know, it's a good idea to clear it out, but also be safe when you're doing that because it's so windy and it's slippery. Uh, you know, it, you have to do it in a very cautious manner, but the, the snow, I'm looking at this parking lot across from me right now, and it looks, there are definitely a couple feet of snow on top of the building, and so that obviously weighs a ton and, and can weigh down that top of the building, and so there, that's a main concern they're keeping an eye on. If there is a way, you can shovel out the, the top of your building that you own or, or home that you own, that, that could help you prevent your roof from collapsing and water coming in and any problems, and of course, we heard the governor say to make sure you clear out your vents so that you don't have any carbon monoxide backup. Same thing with generators if you're using them, which, again, there aren't many power outages in this area, fortunately, but they are uh, recommending, you know, you make sure you know how you use them, you keep them outside, and, and the fumes going away from uh, your windows. Well, you raise a good point also about uh, about clearing fire hydrants, uh, you know, that the Citizen individuals really need to do that to uh, uh, to help with any possible emergency situations, and regardless of where whether you're in Bridgeport or elsewhere around the state. Right, that's right. That's the main concern because if again first responders need to get into these areas, the fire hydrants need to be cleared because that would save them a lot of time. But it is going to be hard right now. It doesn't seem, I know I talked to Fairfield Police, and I know they said they're not able, if, if there's a real emergency in, you know, a, a home or, or community off of one of the side roads, they're really not able to get to them at this point just because all of the main roads there are cleared off, but the side roads aren't. So emergency vehicles, no one can really, except for a plow, uh, get through these roads. So that is the main concern, and that's why they're really asking residents to be extra vigilant and not use candles, use flashlights, and, and try not to plow yourself out of your house because, of course, that takes a lot of energy and can be dangerous to some. So just kind of trying to minimize your risk because they really can't, uh, get to you if there is an emergency. All right, Allie Reed. Well, you sound well. I hope you are well. Uh, I am. I'm nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Stay safe, stay warm. News 8's Allie Reed joining us there on the phone from Bridgeport.